Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, welcome back to another cold day in Colorado. Uh, we don't let that uh, deter us from uh, working on our cars here. So um, anyway, let's uh, let's talk about another update. So some of you uh, may have seen a lot of this before. Um, we got the structure that we're putting in to do the dash. Um, we have our fancy schmancy new steering wheel, which I posted on our Facebook page, but some of you may not have uh, actually seen it. Uh, this was uh, courtesy of Automobili Lamborghini. So we thank them so very much for contributing to our project. Uh, it really, uh, well, I guess you could just say it ties the room together. <laughs> so that uh, particular uh, piece is really going to set this uh, 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 interior off. We're also getting ready to uh, do the center console, which is really important because that's going to tell us where the shift lever can sit and whether or not that's going to be comfortable. So... So all of that structure has been put in. Um, now we're going to uh, start doing our templates, uh, which we'll do out of poster board, which you can see over here. So we'll get that in and, and start doing it. Now, we, uh, we also have something uh, very interesting uh, that happened recently as well. So uh, let's take you uh, downstairs and check it out. So as a lot of you know, um, We've started redoing uh, the headlight bucket and 3D printing them. I think they're they're turning out much uh, nicer than the old one. Remember the old one here. Um, this looks pretty good, but this is going to look a lot better. So that's the nice thing about this rapid prototyping in uh, being able to redo things very quickly. So this, this uh, print took about a week on my... Uh, Quidi X Pro printer, uh, which is uh, where we do ABS and all of our other uh, challenging materials, uh, especially on the interior. Now, uh, what has happened is, is that some of you have seen the video that we did with Lamborghini, the Christmas video, and it featured this printer. Well, the company uh, got wind of that, uh, liked it so much that they sent us this. <laughs> so this is a Quidi X Max. Um, it has a much bigger build volume. It's uh, 300 by 250 by 300 millimeters. Uh, currently we're doing a print. We're actually doing the uh, dash bezel for the system so that we can do, start doing some testing with that in the devices that we're going to put in there. So uh, look for that upcoming probably uh, this week. A um, couple of things here. We want to really thank uh, Quidi for uh, sending us this uh, beautiful printer. Uh, we're looking forward to using it. One of the biggest advances over this from our other Quidi is the fact that this can go up to 300 centigrade. So what does that mean? That means we can start using these kind of materials. Nylon, polycarbonate. Um, some of the really harsher, uh, uh, hard to print materials that can actually survive without having to do anything extra to them uh, inside of the uh, car. So that's going to be absolutely wonderful. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Terry. He uh, was involved in the transfer of the X Max from Quidi. Uh, they sent it to him by mistake, thinking that he was I. And uh, as an honest guy, he got a hold of me and said he had a new printer for me. So thank you very much, Terry. Uh, we really appreciate you doing that for us. So this is another thing that we've been working on. Um, I printed something quickly uh, just to kind of show what I was going for for these exhaust tips. Um, I've gotten a lot of suggestions on our Facebook page that this should uh, come in a little bit. Maybe we should cut it around uh, this area here. 
Um, I also got a message from uh, uh, Darren in uh, The Land Down Under, um, who was also uh, thought about doing something like this and uh, possibly contributing to our project. So uh, I'm working with uh, him to uh, see what they can come up with because um, uh, I kind of like this look and I think people are right that it has to come back so that it's almost uh, to this edge. And then the other thing was is that this, this front edge needs to be thickened. I also think it needs to be slightly rounded a little bit. So um, that may be what we're uh, going to end up with. So anyway, put in the comments if you guys have any suggestions. Uh, we want to make sure that we get that looking right so that it looks really good. Um, anyway, and uh, there's our mocked up piece of dash uh, right there. So we're going to commit that to some uh, melamine and then we'll build some structure so it'll keep its shape. Um, and then that way we can pad it and put some leather on it. Uh, we still need to do the console, so uh, we'll get to that soon, hopefully this week sometime. We'll start mocking that up. We'll probably do all of the poster board paperwork before I uh, commit anything to uh, actual material. So anyway, that's where we are. Uh, so that's our quick update. Uh, <laughs> sorry there's not a lot of meat in it, but... Uh, we're we're cooking forward and we're definitely gonna be doing this every week so uh, stay tuned and thank you again for all the comments uh, we certainly appreciate it um, I did an interview on the local radio station uh, just yesterday so I hope to be able to po post uh, uh, that uh, uh, radio show uh, Willie B's garage thanks again for to Willie B, Scoop, and, and everybody else at KBPI. You know, I had a lot of fun. That was great to tell them about the uh, entire uh, Lamborghini uh, event that we had here. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, comment away, and we'll see you next time.